York. Today's Inside the Studio will take you inside the Metropolitan Museum for a few moments at the Impressionist Wing. The Grenoyer was created in the summer of 1869 when Monet and Renoir set up their easels on the Seine River just northwest of Paris in a boating and bathing resort and created some of the first Impressionist strokes en plein air in the open air. As his work progressed, Monet became more and more fascinated with natural light on subjects outdoors. Between 1890 and 91, Monet devoted some 30 paintings to the haystacks in a field near his home in Giverny. Haystacks was the first group of paintings exhibited in a series in 1891. Fifteen of them were shown at the Galerie du Rond Ruel in Paris. The Spanish singer, created in 1860, was Manet's first popular success. Influenced by the master Velasquez, Manet originally worked with a more neutral palette and more classical themes. Although it is more traditional in nature, we do see the beginning of Manet's visible brushwork that will later become a trait of his style. Later in his career, Manet joined Monet painting outside en plein air. Perhaps influenced by this time painting outside with the Impressionists, Manet's palette became more vibrant. His subjects had already changed to depict scenes of everyday life. In the work, The Monet Family in the Garden at Argentoy, he shows Monet in the upper left with loose brushwork and dappled light. Manet often painted with Monet on the River Seine. It is interesting to note that although Manet influenced the Impressionists by painting everyday life and everyday scenes, he never exhibited with them. Before the Impressionists came to be, Degas had studied classical fine art and was a skilled draftsman. His skill is shown here in the dance class a difficult multi figure work including over 24 figures with advanced perspective and light painted in oil. In his later work, an oil titled Dancers in Pink and Green, we see his style has changed a bit and he has become more loose, showing varied brushwork. He was especially fond of appearing and disappearing edges and the blending of colors with white to make them more opaque. Degas fell in love with texture and later found that the medium of pastels was well suited for the blended edges and backgrounds he liked, as well as clear visible strokes as shown here in The Singer in Green. Hope you've enjoyed today's little excerpt of Metropolitan Museum. Join us next time.